hello beauties if you're doing fabulous happy holidays you all have been telling me that you actually don't like the fact that a lot of people make custom made palettes on camera but they never actually use it in a video so that's what we're going to do today we are going to use my custom made palette for the new year and we're going to be using this palette to make two looks today if that sounds good let's do it friends I have already primed with painterly and I'm gonna just use a combination of random brushes that I have in front of me let's do it I'm going to first use this brush this is the Morphe collaboration with Nyan I actually really like these brushes and I bought them from TJ Maxx and honestly if I see them at TJ Maxx again I'm gonna buy some more because I've used these a lot and they have lasted i think i've had them for more than a year at this point i'm going to go into this beautiful color that i have not used yet from give me glow i bought these large give me glow pans when they had a sale earlier this year i'm going to put this in my crease if you all remember they had a sale because they're trying to reduce their pan sizes to standard 26 millimeters and everything was like on sale. I mean, I bought these each for $2. I'm sure the sale started at a different price, but by the time I got to it, there were $2 and I just bought a bunch of things. I was like, you can never have too many matte singles. And beauties, while I'm doing this, I also wanted to kind of talk about some goals for this channel. As you have seen at this point, I have hit the 500 subscribers mark which was my goal by the end of the year i now want to use some of this color because this is the color that is from best mattes palette that i've never used so let's use a little bit of that and this is going out here should we go for a halo eye let's go for a halo eye and i'm just gonna take the same brush under my lower lash line I'm also going to use the same color on the inner part of my lid. If you've been watching my to buy or not to buys and a lot of my recent videos, I did a lot of videos around December. I mean, I didn't want to commit to Vlogmas because I wasn't sure if I could do that many videos, but I ended up doing a lot of videos. And if you watched my videos, you know that I mentioned a lot of different things about my concerns with the price of makeup these days and when I did the declutter I realized I have a lot of makeup that I'm not using and that kind of feeds into the goals that I have for next year. So my plan for the first three months of next year is to go completely on a no buy. I'm kind of excited about that yes i am because one thing that i think that's gonna force me to do is to become more creative with the stuff that i have right resource limitations will always bring out a lot more creativity than if you could just throw money and have access to anything you want so my general thought at this point in time is because that because of that i'm gonna end up having to dupe a lot of things that come out and I do think I have enough singles to be able to dupe a majority of things and if I end up not being able to dupe exactly the things that come out I'll dupe the vibes and maybe like change things here and there maybe I'll do some of those videos in this channel if you all are interested in those kinds of videos I would like to know because I personally dupe a lot of things but my duping videos didn't necessarily have a lot of watch so i stopped posting them but i realized that you know when i used to post dupe videos i had like 200 subscribers and now i have 300 more so if you are new would love to hear from you all if that is something you're interested in seeing okay i'm seeing some patchiness and to remove the patchiness i'm gonna pick a buffed brush this is a fully round headed brush from morphe and i'm just gonna go to town here it's interesting because the best mattes color is not really blending very well i'm gonna pick a larger 
brush and try to fix that. A couple of more videos that I'm just thinking about off the top of my head, sort of video ideas that I think now I'm thinking you all might be interested in that I did not think would do well on my channel is just swatching everything that I have. So swatching all of my singles. It seems like you all are very much enjoying swatches, swatch videos. So I'm just thinking that would probably be something that would be interesting for you all. I'm probably going to continue doing the to buy or not to buys or the general new makeup releases type of videos. But my plan generally is not to buy anything, at least for the first three months. So things are either going to be going on the what to buy after April list or you know, let's just roast some of the makeup that's coming out and convince ourselves not to buy them. I'm going to use Base Booster from BH, and this is going to be at the center here. You know what I want to do? I'm going to go into Peacock, and Peacock is what's going to go here. And now I want to pick a little bit of Sazium. Look at that. And that's going to go at the center here. Like that. And let me pick a brush. I'm going to pick a small, this is the Give Me Glow brush. And I just want to kind of blend the edge of Sazium into Peacock. I'm liking this. You can even go back into Peacock and add a little bit more. If you have a small brush like this and add a little bit more of that green just to make sure the green is not completely covered with the silver i first wanted to add a little bit of peacock on my lower lash line but i think i'm good i don't want to do too much because i want people to pay more attention to the upper lid but i do see some patchiness maybe that patchiness is not as visible okay friends i'm back i put a little bit of bel air i had the sampler from ofra on my lips and then i also put this they're real from benefit on my lashes this is mascara and i'm kind of enjoying this final look this is a good look for new year's eve or an evening party or something like that and generally, I like to go kind of nudie on the lips with bold eye looks. Let me bring the camera closer and show you this look from close up. Okay, beauties, I'm back for the second look. I already applied this Hydro Grip Primer from Milk on my lids and we are going to do the second look with my custom made palette for december which is my palette for the new year and this is going to be another sort of look that i would totally rock tonight it's the 31st my actual plans for tonight is watching the fireworks from my balcony i'm traveling tomorrow and i'm planning on putting my evening appropriate look now all the way until when the new year happens so let's see if the look will last. I am going to try to use some of the colors I haven't used in the first look. And we're, we're going to continue with the same kind of brushes that were in this container. Let's go with this. This is a Japonesque brush. And beauties, these Japonesque brushes I bought from TJ Maxx, just FYI. Let's go into... I want to use this blue. And I'm going to put this blue in my crease like that. And we're talking about my goals and plans for 2024. For me, generally, the theme of 2024 is I'm looking at it as a different year and it has to be a different me. So this channel is going to have some changes like to buy or not to buys are going to become almost and hauls. I'm using this one also from Nyan going into this one and again beauties this palette i created in a different video i'm tagging the video below and this is going in the outer v Ooh, this is so 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 pigmented it's like almost not blending because it's so pigmented and then i'm going to probably do more swatching more duping more just appreciating what i have 
It's kind of ironic, beauties, because I actually created this channel. Now, anybody who joined me when I started this channel knows this, but I actually created this channel with the intent to talk about saving money. If you all go back, back, back to my early, early videos, I put a few videos on this channel talking about finance. So for anybody who doesn't know me, I I'm a mathematician by education for a job i work in tech side of finance so making technical products for finance so imagine products that help you save money for retirement or imagine products that help you buy stocks and things like that and when you're building those kinds of products you need to know a lot about how investment actually works to be able to build the product or lead a team that's building the product which is why I, when I started this channel, I was kind of like, what do I want to do? What niche I want to be in? And I thought, this is an area I know a whole lot about. So I created a couple of videos about 401k and a few other things. And investments and finance is actually a huge, huge passion of mine. I love figuring out how to help people save money, become richer, all of that. I love money. And to be honest, I feel like my actions with respect to makeup might not show that it's almost as if i've become the antithesis of what i believe in which is i'm bringing this under my lower lash line part of the reason i want to buy less because the purpose of making money is to have a richer life is to have a life full of happiness so no financial guru no true financial guru is ever going to tell you to not spend money but what I've realized over the past year is that spending money on buying so much makeup has not led to real appreciation of the makeup that I've bought. I have palettes, beauties, I have never used. I haven't had a chance to use. So how can I claim that each of those new palettes has brought me more happiness? And that is the core of what I'm trying to do in 2024. I want to assess every makeup item that I have and make judicious decision about whether I should have it or not. I want to spend the first three months of next year on a no buy and you all please join me if you want to go on a no buy with me. So my plan is it's going to be January 1st. Frankly, I haven't purchased any makeup since Black Friday and I've not intended to purchase anything. And my plan for the no buy at the moment is that it would end on April 1st or April Fool's Day. Now, if I realize I can make it last longer, I might reassess my plans. But at the moment, the plan is for it to be just those three months. And in those three months, I really want to use, play with, and develop an appreciation for the makeup that I already have. And obviously in this channel, when I talk about makeup, we're mainly talking about lip stuff and eyeshadows, but beauties, I also have a lot of brushes, for example. I also have a lot of lip liners, for example. You all know how many lip liners I've purchased that I've never used. There are lip liners I purchased more than a year ago that I've never used. Honestly, there, some, some of them might have dried up. And as someone who always tries to help people become richer and helps people make better financial decisions, I can't claim that that's a good financial decision. I know that that's not a good financial decision. So I'm very much enjoying this tiny bit of patchiness there. And it is, if this is the first video you're landing on, this is something I've talked about in, the, in my past videos. I want to say for the last month, at least I've been talking about this, if not before that even. And I will tag a few videos below where I'm sort of talking about some of my general concerns about the price of makeup, in my new makeup releases, the tag video that I did, I think about a week ago, again, that video is also tagged below. I'm in the last question that talks about new makeup predictions. There are some predictions that I have about how small brands are going to try to use influencers to sell makeup. And I think you can watch that video. I don't want to repeat everything I said in there, but with those thoughts, I want to be much more judicious 
and where my money is going i want to really make conscious decisions when i'm buying and i don't want to just buy because a favorite youtuber told me this palette is amazing and beauties these are not things that just happened i've been thinking about all of these for the past month and in fact way before that and early in december i made a video talking about the things that make me not want to buy a palette because i've been reflecting a lot in the past few months about why i was showing this behavior meaning why i was buying these palettes and what i was thinking and how i could change that behavior and if you want to know more details about what i'm thinking about these things i've tagged all of those videos below i'm loving this i'm now going to use another brush this is from give me glow and I'm gonna go into this one and I'm just using to buff this part out because beauties I have a very very extensive collection and I need to really appreciate what I have I almost feel like I'm an ungrateful person feeling like I need to own everything and I do see content creators online make beautiful makeup and super creative content with a fraction of the makeup that I own and at the end of the day having the channel is about having a community where i can talk about my thoughts about makeup and that should be independent of how much makeup i have it is i'm seeing some patchiness again i wonder if putting all of these mats on each other causes some patchiness could be i also have put it eyes so that could be part of it but i like to hear your thoughts about these things does it matter to you the size of the collection of the creator you're watching i'm putting this here and here going into the gold i have done swatches and everything of these shades in another video linked below but this is such a pretty color from luxie so this shade has a green hue that blends perfectly into the blue. And then it also has that reddish base that blends very nicely into the burgundy. Now cleaning these edges. I'm going to quickly pick another brush. This is also from Give Me Glow. I'm going to go into this. I do want to blend out my lower lash line a little bit. I feel like this part is a little too harsh. Okay, quickly mentioning, I put Queen Bee from Too Faced on my lips and I had this Fenty Sampler Full Frontal vo Volume Lift Curl Mascara from Fenty on my lashes. And then I also have this from Miss A Store that I talked about in my Miss A Store video. Again, I'll tag that also for you all that, you know, I did some shopping at Miss A Store. And I put that, this is a creamy shadow, but I like to use it as a sort of a highlighter slash blush and that's kind of what I use I don't know if the camera's capturing but it adds a little bit of a pink tint to my cheeks and I'm liking this look you can put a little bit of sasium if you want in the inner corner I don't didn't want to do any more than just the gold I think the gold is doing a fantastic job let me bring the camera closer and show you this look from close up okay beauties that's it for my new year's looks i'm curious to know if any of you want to join me on a no buy next year let me know in the comments below and i'm even more curious to know about your goals your makeup goals for 2024 also write those to me in the comments i love you all happy new year and until next time bye